Hey guys, I'm back. Thank you for tuning in. It's been a while since I posted a video. That's mainly because my next couple videos are going to be about specific topics and I want them to be like well researched and include a lot more like cultural and practical information for you guys. So you can still look forward to that. Those are coming. They're just taking a bit more um, preparation and stuff because I want them to be good. So. Um, those are coming, but I thought I would jump on here and just do like a real quick update just because I miss you guys and I want to post something to hold this over until those other videos are done. So thank you for stopping by and I'm just going to uh, do a little What's in Bloom video and um, show you some of the highlights of my collection right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so like I said, um, this is going to be a pretty quick casual video. Sometimes I'll try to make things look nice and professional and stuff but this is just for fun so i'm just gonna um show you some blooms this is my um rlc dick smith paradise i did like a bloom spotlight video on that one a little while back you can go back on my channel and find it if you want to see um a closer look at that one um, but i did want to show that to you because it's actually quite different coloration than the first time it bloomed uh, the last time it flowered, it was um, cooler temperatures and brighter light, which always makes the colors pop a lot more. This sort of like pink was more of like a, it was almost like a true purple. It was like purple, which had a lot of contrast with like a, a bright yellow. The yellow was a bit brighter too, so it was pretty cool. I still, it's still beautiful right now too. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. The variability in the colors is cool. Um, the fragrance on this thing is really wonderful too. It smells the way it looks. I always joke about that. It's It's got this like really floral, but also like sweet and like fruity tropical fragrance. It It's really wonderful. Down here is um, a no ID foul that I saved from the trash. Um, I will say it's easy to talk smack about these. They really do perform nicely and it's actually quite pretty. I've anytime I ever bring one of these like no ID complex hybrid fowls into my home, um, even if I start out not really liking it that much, I always like end up really loving them once I kind of see them and get to know them and stuff. Um, very nice. And the flowers last forever. Uh, here are a couple of den fowls. Very nice new growths coming in. My collection's kind of like torn apart right now because I was like moving all kinds of things around and it's finally getting warmer outside here in New England so I have put some of my plants outside but which is nice but it's like now my plants are not all in the same place like i have some outside i have some inside some sp spaces have um kind of freed up more room for other plants and stuff because i put some outside so i've like shifted stuff around a lot and it's just like it's a bit stressful so my my growth space doesn't look all nice like it usually does which kind of bugs me but i'm sorting it out um this is just a Den Nobly, no ID that I bought from some grocery store. Um, this cane here um, had some problems where it's like kind of blackening at the base. So it is throwing out a cakey to try to duplicate itself and live on. So we'll be cutting that off, probably snipping this whole cane. The rest of it's pretty healthy. I know this thing's like dreadfully overpotted, but um, to be honest, like a lot of healthy orchids can stand being overpotted a little bit. I'm not, you know, fully advocating it. Like, they don't like it and it's better, always better to um, err on the side of the smaller pots. Yeah, this thing was already kind of sick when I bought it, but we'll see. I'll have to figure something out with that one. Um, just for fun, um, here is my prayer plant. Um, is it a calathea? I forget what the actual name is um but i really love this thing i bought it initially just sort of like for a project and it wasn't really something i was you know i didn't buy it because i was in love with it i just kind of bought it for a specific thing but i kind of fell in love with it these leaves are gorgeous they look like they're hand painted 
And the other thing that's really cool, if you notice right now, it looks kind of weird and saggy, right? Well, this plant moves so much <laughs> that it's like really kind of fascinating. I mean, all plants move, it's not really that weird, but this thing moves so fast, like I was really kind of like impressed by like the mobility of it. Like over the course of a couple of hours, it completely changes form. Right now everything's kind of hanging down, but I would say over just the course of like maybe two hours or so, these leaves can all be pointing straight up and looking really cool and crazy. So I, I love this plant. I think everyone should have one. They're really neat. Um, but let's continue and check out the other area of my grow space. One thing that's new and exciting is I got these new uh, metal plant stands. I have two of them now. My mom actually gave them to me. She wasn't using them and she was thinking about either throwing them out or selling them or something. And I was like, yeah, I'll take those. And they look so nice. And it works out well because I have um, some of these like medium to lower light orchids that don't belong kind of under my artificial lights, but still need pretty bright light. So it, it just helps me to make better use of the, the windows because I have window cells, but they're small. It's hard to fit much on them. I can put some of these bigger ones on here, which is great. But look how low that spike is on this bell. <laughs> I was trying to find somewhere to like display it where I could kind of actually see and appreciate the flowers. But yeah, so I love these stands. They look really nice in my kitchen, but I do want some of these orchids to get some outside time this summer. And that's what's nice about these plant stands is I could just grab the whole thing and kind of stick it outside. So pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys that because it just looks really awesome. I'm, I'm really proud of it. Kind of the, the way everything's arranged and stuff. It's very nice to look at. I'm pleased. And here are my Vandas. They don't stay here. This is just like not nearly enough light for them. Um, I usually kind of like shove them onto the grow shelves or I put them outside. They just look really cool right here with like the plant stands and everything. So I liked how they looked in the window, but they probably won't stay there. Okay, here's my new Angregum Aishlerianum. Um, I've had it for a couple weeks. I bought it that same time at the same greenhouse where I bought the staghorn fern. So if you want to see more about that, you can go watch my previous video. But yeah, I love having this. I always look up pictures of the flowers online because I, I love the way they look. It had a bit of sunburn. It had that already when I bought it though. These have a bit of a funny growth habit. They're sort of like a vanilla where they have um, a tendency to kind of like vine. I think it needs to be grown maybe against some type of post or mount. So I'll have to figure something out with that, but very cute and healthy. I love this thing. This is my um, Hawaii Stars Pink Lace. I think it's BC Hawaii Stars Pink Lace. And I love the fragrance on this thing so much. I actually have two of these. I bought a second one because I thought this one, I thought this one here was going to die because a lot of its old growths like shriveled up. I could tell that its roots were really bad. I think I just waited too long to repot it and it was in sort of bad media. So I repotted it anyway and it had some new growths and stuff. So I knew it, you know, was still growing, but I bought a second one anyway in case this one died because I'm like obsessed with the fragrance of this orchid. I really love it. So I have two of them, but yeah, this, or this is the one that I thought was gonna die maybe, but the new growth um, flowered pretty nicely. They're pretty tough plants. Um, so yeah, I don't mind having two of them because it's a really, really cute Catlia. Maybe I'll sell the other one eventually. Um, this is my Arrangus Distincta, which I really love. I actually just ordered another one of these um, because I love them so much, I, I want two of them. So yeah, let's see. Here's a nice little pink Cattleya. Ooh, very sticky. Um, that's actually in Spike. This one, um, the past like two growths didn't bloom for me, but this one has a little spike. 
I can't really get back there to, to film it properly. I don't know if you could see that or not, but um, I'll definitely post update videos about that one. It's just a nice pink Cattleya. This is my Neo Stylus Cross Neo Phoenicia, which is doing very well. It's very healthy and wonderful looking. I'm a little bummed that I haven't noticed a spike on it yet because it's getting to be that time where it should have spiked, but we'll see. It's still pretty small, but I'd definitely say that's blooming size. So we'll see. What else do we have here? Let's jump down to the bottom shelf. I think I covered um, just about everything up here. Okay, this here is my Mazdavalia Red Shine Sheila. This is really not like the best lighting for it. I should really pull it out and show it to you in like daylight. Um, but I am filming a video all about Mazdavalias and I'll show lots of pictures and um, footage of um, my Mazdavalias. This is my Viciana. This flower is on its way out. It looks like garbage, um, but it's got some other spikes coming. So that's cool. Um, back there is my little Fao Tzu Chiang Bong, which smells wonderful, like Siberia Japonica. Um, this flower is, is like a lot bigger than I expected to, it to be. The color's not showing up well at all on camera, but it's this really deep red. It was more of like a ruby red at first, but it's a bit of like a darker, kind of like burgundy brick red color right now. Um, but yeah, I really love them. Obsessed with Mazdis now. This is my um, Jaiho Summer Love. Not the best bloom display this, this year. I think it looks a little whack. The flowers just like aren't bunched together nicely. I mean, it's still like a really beautiful orchid. Don't get me wrong, I love it. It's got a nice little fragrance. It, it's a bit like, I, I always think of like apples like that really lightly sweet fruity smell, like just just a little bit sweet and maybe a bit peppery. It doesn't have a strong fragrance, but it's nice. Let's see what else we got. This is my wine delight, blocking all the light, being a jerk, but it's in spike, which is cool. Right back there. I think there's another spike on the other side too. Um, that's exciting. And then this is my Catlia Veru Star Trek. Can't wait for that. A big huge Zygo. Back there is my Angraecum Lemford White Beauty, which I love so much. I really hope that thing blooms sometime soon. Um, it's such a nice, big, healthy plant. So. Yeah, I guess that's it. Sorry, I know this was like a really like quick, kind of like not very exciting video, but I just missed you guys and figured, you know, I had some cool stuff in bloom that I could show you, but don't worry, I have some kind of better videos coming in the future, but I just want to jump on here and say hi. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.